Yo, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the energizer and inverter. So you're pretty obviously going to need the inverter and energizer. So if I quickly show you how these guys are made. For the energizer, you're going to need four Estonian crystals, two advanced coils and one iron casing. And for the inverter, you're going to need two Estonian crystals, two advanced coils and one iron casing. So if we have a look at the inverter first as you can see it holds a capacity of 500,000 RF which is good to know it's quite a nice amount so if we chuck this guy in there you go bang away it goes this is a good way of maybe powering up one of your machines if you don't have power on you it does do ones as well which is fantastic now just click that lever on so there you go it goes straight into the energizer and powers it straight back up but on my testing some things that don't work are what I reckon you'd like to charge up. It may work for you, but it doesn't really work for me. So it's the waiver pick, the wireless terminal, the draconium chest plate, and the Enderio magnet. So if we grab out, say, the pick. See if we try chuck it in here. Well, it didn't even discharge that at all. If we grab this guy out. There you go, it will charge it, but it won't discharge it, which is kind of strange. There you go. That's not too shabby, is it? And I am the same with this one, so if we grab this out, it, would, it won't even charge it, you see? It just won't work. Really strange. But now, I have got a fully automated system set up over there, which I think you guys are more and wanting to see. So this is just a bigger and much better version of what I've done here. So as you can see, you've got your input and your output slot. So I've got some items set and prepped in here. So it will do armor as well. And it will do, you know, big amounts of power as well in rings and etc. So all we need to do is switch this guy on. And there you go, away it goes, it's going to suck the power out of it. And it will just transport it along. As you can see the energy thing is at the bottom. This is just a buffer, so maybe you can fill your capacity banks while you're doing this. And the power of our machines, if you have enough tools, that is. Or things that take power. And as you can see, it's when it's fully charged, it'll be sucked out and disappear. And there, it's gone. And there it is, fully powered and ready to use. So all of these will be fully charged again, straight out here. So that's if you wanted to power something up and then send it on elsewhere. So this is a fully automated system. Like I said, all you need to do is put it in the input slot. But instead of having these two chests here, this is just for demonstration purposes, you could just chuck it in these two chests here. So I reckon this is a really cool way of charging your items and like discharging you, you know if you have no power near you and you need to charge up say maybe a bank and you're not you're nowhere near power especially if you're in the desert a bit hard finding power there and just while we're on it if you guys can get these to work please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know why they're not working and just a cool thing to note, just like I said earlier, both of them hold 500,000 CF or RF, so you can use either. It can charge armor as well. And it would be great to power projects and, you know, grab power from friends. You know, oh, I don't have power. I need power. Give me power. So just so it charges armor, I'll show you here. There you go. We grab it out. And as you can see in a sec, there you go, it is fully charged. So, I hope this has helped you in learning on understanding how the energizer and inverter work. So until next time guys, sit tight.